Hello everybody, we are out here in lovely Wisconsin, of course, which really right now isn't that lovely because it is getting towards the end of the year. It's beginning of October and it's starting to get cold. It's probably about, what, 65 degrees out here right now. Temperatures are starting to get really low, like to the point of frost or freezing right around there. Um, my tomatoes have been all done for a little while. There's a one or two tomatoes I see on there. And I'll show you how that's all going. And then, yeah. Let's get right to it. So, as you see, my tomatoes look horrible. They all look like they're dead, which they pretty much are because at that time of year, of course. So, we picked a whole bunch of tomatoes off here. I mean, there were, I think there were one or two pickings after the one after my last video. Even there was a lot of we get a lot of tomatoes off here. Very pleasantly surprised on how much food we actually got off of these plants. Just a simple six bucket system used with general hydroponic nutrients, and that's all I did, and it did it by itself. Or it runs by itself, I should say. So as you can see, there's a few tomatoes left. Nice little size there. Uh, I saw one more. There's two little ones up there. What else we got up here? Um, there's a few little straggly ones laying around. Um, then as you can see here, these, these, this was my roots that were inside of the dripper tube. Be careful that both of these were. This one and that one, that's the second time I've pulled it out of that tube. So this plant wasn't getting water for a while. Well, it was only getting water through that dripper tube. So if you ever do dripper systems, be careful of that. Yeah, that happened to all, I think it was like two or three of them. See, yep, there's another uh, clump of roots right there. The whole chunk looks like a rope. Yeah, that's all roots. That was stuck inside the dripper line. I had to pull that out. Um, I still have the system running. Like I said last time, I didn't want to shut it off and then make the whole system get all rotten because everything's sitting stale and just get gross as you can see there's gonna be a lot of brown leaves look at all those brown leaves um yeah it's pretty much towards the end here and we got my water it's only suck sucked about i don't know five gallons since i filled it up and it's been a while since i filled it up it has not been sucking nearly as much water as it has been um considering summer it was sucking five gallons of water a day we're done here so, oh, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing just to prove my little uh, waterproof box here actually worked. Look at this, this has been sitting here all summer long like this. As you can see, there's a little bit of grass around here. This is a timer in the air pump with a surge strip that's been running this entire system. So all this is, again, is a tote, cut the bottom out of it, put a brick under here, dug a hole, stuck it in here, boom, waterproof box. I mean, of course it's not code approved and of course it's not frost approved but it actually works quite well for this so overall i am super pleased with this entire system uh like i've said before worked fantastic growth was amazing wish i would have had a little more or wish i would have had this in full sun because there's that big tree block in it right there and the sun comes up over that way and then the tree blocks it so that's why some of these plants in the beginning here are bigger than the other ones in the back but uh, that's about the only thing I would have changed for the most part. That and have a freshwater reservoir that would have a fill valve to keep this thing full. Because that is one of the biggest things to pay attention to is keeping this thing full. Uh, yeah. So if you guys ever do this, uh, these things suck ridiculous amounts of water. But totally worth it. Um, what's to come next? So... The only thing I'll probably be doing is a like little stop motion video or something of me taking down this entire system, maybe some pictures, and I might do a video of like the whole tomato plant laid out in the ground out of the actual bucket system. I don't know. We'll see if I have time for that. I know the other video I'm going to do is me taking out my um, jalapeno pepper plants because those are huge. I'm going to replant those back inside for the winter time again. Um, yeah, so that's what, I've been, that's what I got. Thank you guys for all subscribing and everything. I love it. Comment, share, subscribe, like. You know what to do. Over and out.